Hello, it's Gail. Today I'm going to show you how to do this very easy gradient, linear gradient, and it has almost no cleanup compared to the regular horizontal gradient. Want to learn how to do this? Stay with me and I will show you how. Let's go over the supplies that we'll need for this particular mani. For my pink, I'm using Essie off the shoulder. Uh, for my blue, I'm using Essie Smooth Sailing. For my yellow, I'm using Rimmel 60 Seconds in Round and Round in Circles. I am also using a gold glitter. This is Shaney number 12. We also have a sesh feet for my top coat. And I also am using one of these wonderful little alligator clips. This is one of the ones that kind of, you know, help you put on bracelets. But um, just anything that will allow you to manipulate a very small sponge will work. And this is going to be my cosmetic sponge. And you can see I've already had a piece taken out of it. How we're going to start first is you're going to go ahead and clean, dry, prep your nails, put on a base coat, and then you're going to put half of your nail in pink and the other half in blue. And here's how we do the gradient. I'm going to take the sponge and I'm just going to tear off a little teeny tiny piece. Now this is just really really small and the reason I'm using this particular like alligator clip is that if I was trying to manipulate this by hand with my sponging it would just <laughs> be way too small. I'd never be able to manage it. So, with my little alligator clip and sponge in place, I'm going to just go ahead and dab it into the yellow. Then I'm going to pat that along the middle of the fingernail. And this is where the two colors meet, where the pink and the blue meet. And I'm just going to do a little bit more dabbing. I don't think I mentioned earlier, but you can use any colors for this. You don't have to use the colors that I'm using by any stretch of the imagination. This is just something to get you going. So, more, and you can keep dabbing, or, you know, you can decide you like it just like this. Me, I'm going to take a little bit more, make my yellow a little bit wider. Oops! I put it in a spot where I don't want the polish. So what do I do now? I've got a, you know, a bunch of yellow in my pink. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Just going to take another little piece. And you might want to, to cut off or rip off a few tiny little pieces before you get much polishing on your fingernails, just in case you need it. <laughs> I I made this mistake on purpose, but uh, just in case you make it by accident, it's always handy to have this ready and waiting. So I've got a little pink, and I'm just going to dab it over my accident. So it may take a, a few times to, to dab it, but that's okay. Okay, last two steps. I've got my glitter polish, and what I'm going to do this time is instead of <clears throat> putting it on the sponge and sponging it on, I'm just going to draw a line down the center, just very loudly. Just barely want to put some on. And then I am going to come in with my little dabber, and I'm just reusing the yellow one. And dab it. If I don't think I have enough glitter on, just add a few more dots of it. Whoops. And then sponge a bit more. Now we go ahead and put on our top coat as our last step. And for that, I'm <clears throat> using Sesh Feet. And I want to say that I, I don't think that I came up with this linear idea for a gradient and everything. Um, I'm sure someone out, else out there has thought of it before I have. I just figured I'd go ahead and do a tutorial on it because I've, you know, 
it's always a pain to clean off all the extra nail polish when you're doing a gradient. And even though gradients are really, really cool to look at, they're a pain to clean up. Well, this linear gradient <clears throat> gives you very, very little cleanup. Matter of fact, all I really have is this little bit right here. And that's easy enough to um, take away with a little bit of acetone, but uh, that's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an easy look. It's pretty fast. And you can have fun with all sorts of color combinations. So if you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. If you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel, I hope that you'll do so. This is Gail signing out saying have yourself a great day. Bye.